This is just a quick video to show off some of the interesting engineering I've found inside the new IKEA Bill Reza smart buttons. Um, so these are just the two button, um, well, two button buttons. <laughs> uh, they're part of the new Matter um, smart home range that they've released. Um, they have new thread radios inside, um, so it's Matter over thread. Previously, they used Zigbee radios, that was um, the standard Zigbee. Um, but yeah, these new buttons are incredibly well cost optimized. Um, for three pounds, gets you one of these buttons. Um, everything in the box is just what you see here. No batteries included in the button itself, but I think it's a very, very nicely made um, smart home button. So it's a bit thicker than typical other buttons like the Akara ones, just a little bit thicker. Uh, I've got one to compare. Here's an Akara button, so that's a little bit thinner overall but yeah inside um you'll find this little like uh plastic hole that you can put a screwdriver in and that just pops off the top cover and there's no screws or anything here that's just purely a friction fit on the little there's like a rocker in the center there those two pegs uh, on the bottom of here they rest in there and that's um very easy to pop off and, and on then these two plus symbols here, they press down on these buttons that are in the center or uh, either side of the, the center here. So those are your buttons one and two. On the front, you can see there's like a little larger divot and a smaller divot that shows off which um, button is which. There's a small hole in the center there and that's a light guide, I think. Yeah, there's um, a bit of translucent plastic on the other side there and that feeds uh, the light that comes out of this hole. There's an LED behind there. There's a central button here, and that's the sort of pairing reset button. Um, yeah, so there's two AAA button, uh, AAA battery cells inside here that I've put in. These are just the uh, standard IKEA rechargeable ones. They're pretty good. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, you can see the the whole thing is just plastic. There's no screws in this whatsoever to hold this together. It's all clips, which is really impressive. Um, other details on here, there's four little programming holes there, that'll be for programming in the factory. Um, and then on the back we'll have a look quickly as well. So there's a metal plate that's included with these two sticky pads. Um, if I remove this, it's just a, a little bit of metal and there's a magnet built into the back of this that um, attracts the metal. So you can stick that onto anything magnetic, it doesn't have to be this, this part isn't magnetic itself. Um, so that's very handy. It's got a nice bit of rubber featured on here. So this is like a double shot injection molding where the, the rubber is part of the mold. It's not stuck on afterwards. So that lets it kind of grip the table a bit better and it doesn't slide down your wall or anything that's on there. So that's a really nice feature. Um, I've got the matter code covered there just because it's meant to be a secure code, but in reality, I don't think it's particularly dangerous to share it, but I just did that as a matter of precaution. Um, yeah, it's printed on the back. These are laser engra uh, engraved. Um, so in the factory, each one will have its unique ID laser engraved on the back, which is really nice because sometimes they put them on stickers. Stickers fall off or fade over time, especially ones that are like um, thermal type labels. Um, so yeah, ma uh, engraved with a laser. So yeah, very nice to have all of that together in one package. Um, and then let me just pop this apart so you can see inside. So there's just four little retaining clips on either side there, and I can pop this open if I, just a bit of a screwdriver down there. Uh, one second, my cat wants in through the window. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, this pops open and it's just held on with those clips. Uh, let me use my spudger to actually get it fully out here. And then again, this part's plastic. There's the circuit board is on the back here. It's a single-sided circuit board, which again is pretty impressively cost optimized. And there's that magnet that's attached to the uh, base of the, the, the plastic shell there. So let's take the screw out of here so we can have a look at the circuit board. <clears throat> Single screw, that's the only screw in the entire product. I'm surprised they didn't cost optimize that away and make it a clip somehow. But the circuit board just comes out and that is an incredibly tiny circuit board for this product. Um, yeah, you see the three buttons over all these micro switches um, in the center of the PCB with the LEDs in the center there. 
Um, it's pretty much nothing other than passive components over here, some resistors, capacitor, uh, and then the only active uh, circuitry is on the end here with this little red um, daughter board, I guess, that's been soldered on. Um, this contains the little SOC that does the thread uh, communications. Um, I believe the SOC that it uses, I can't really read it at this angle, um, but it's also technically matter, uh, sorry, technically Zigbee compatible. Um, so I think some people have been trying to flash the Zigbee firmware onto these things to use different protocols and such. But you can see those um, programming headers there, those four pads, uh, and then there's a couple other test points there, um, some battery test points over here. Um, but yeah, that's so tiny. Like, look how th th all there is is just that little chip on that little daughter board there, and the rest is just buttons and passive for LEDs and sensing the button presses. So yeah, that's really, really impressive, just this whole thing. It, it goes together really nicely, just with no screws other than that one to hold the PCB in. The thing feels solid. It's nice plastic material that it's made out of. Uh, yeah, it's just ABS which is nice, um, nice enough. Uh, it's not like glass fiber reinforced or anything like that, but it's, it feels good. Oh, this part is here, and another detail here. This, this rubber sort of thing that's been, again, I think, I'm not sure if that's stuck on. Yeah, it does appear to be stuck over the top. So there's like a bit of rubber that's stuck over the top there. So that lets you press the buttons through the, the case, but kind of gives it a little bit of a, a weatherproofing seal. I mean, it's not exactly weatherproof. I'm not sure if it's IP rated, to be honest, for use outdoors, but um, yeah, it just helps a little bit of protection there for the micro switches, because you can be a little bit fragile if you're pressing the, the plungers directly. So through this rubber is really nice. Um, yeah, the thing uses AA batteries, sorry, AAA batteries, uh, and it supports rechargeable ones as well, so it can handle the 1.2 volts that comes out of these instead of the typical 1.5 nominal from a uh, AA or AAA batteries. So, yeah, very well engineered, I think. Um, in reality, I haven't really used it that much yet. I uh, paired it with um, my Apple HomeKit and my Home Assistant setup, and it seems to be working pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm just, I just really wanted to show it off because I, I thought it was really amazing how they've managed to <laughs> optimize this so nicely um, into something that actually seems quite nice to use as well. And just for fun, let's reassemble it, pretend that we're a, a worker in the factory. Um, so that goes on the back there, and then we use our screwdriver to use the only screw in the entire thing. Uh, the buttons are working now and then this goes in this way around with a little hole and then the whole thing just clips together so that's that's it assembled now other than the top plate which again just clips over let's put the batteries back in um, and then just get everything the right way around I'm guessing they've engineered it so it can't go in the wrong way around which I'm trying to do right now so yeah, there's a little tab there and that goes in that hole. That's what you kind of press up on to lever the top off. So just push it all together and it snaps into place. A nice little button. Very, very nice indeed.